Oh, they move in fast. They live rent free with no easy way for homeowners or police to evict them. Homes all across the U.S. have been taken over by squatters. But Florida is now taking action. Governor Ron DeSantis set to sign a new law eliminating squatters' rights in the state. Lawmakers unanimously passing that bill, granting police the right to immediately remove squatters and charge them with a misdemeanor for presenting a false lease and a felony for anyone who commits at least $1,000 worth of damage. And now many homeowners across the country are hoping Florida's law will serve as a blueprint for other states plagued by squatting. So joining me now is a victim of a squatter, Darthula Young. Her late mother's Chicago area home was taken over by a professional squatter with a long criminal history. Darthula, thank you so much for giving me some of your time. First of all, how did you even first learn that a stranger was actually living in your mother's home? Well, it was the neighbors called me and said that there was a shooting in the building. And when I went over, I found out that someone had moved into her apartment and they had changed the locks. First thing I did was call the police. I did have keys, but uh, when the police, when we tried to have get entry into the property, the locks didn't work. So he had changed the locks? Yes. I think that's one of the first things that they do is they change the locks so you can't have entry. And once the police gets there, if uh, you can't have entry into the property, then there's really nothing they'll do. Right. Because the state of Illinois, squatters or squatting is a civil matter and not a um, uh, criminal matter. So you have to go through the courts in order to get squatters off your property. Right, and that's like so many states now, Florida, obviously trying to change that. So this man, you go to your mom's house, you realize that your key no longer works, you call the police, there's really not much they can do. So here it is, March 26th. Is he still there? Kind of what happens now? Well, I had to go through the courts, and going through the courts can be a long process because you have to go through the tenants' courts, and the squatters actually have rights, so you just can't evict them. The judge has to get to order. And what a lot of people, and I didn't understand either, is it's not the police department that has the responsibility for evicting the squatters. You have to go through the state. So it's the county, or else the county is responsible for evicting squatters. Well, Dorothy, well, just talk about how you felt, because I have to say, you know, personally, I was the victim. My car was stolen over the summer here in Chicago, and that you feel so violated. I cannot imagine going to a home, particularly of my deceased mother, going to try to clean everything out and do all of that, which is such an emotional uh, time anyway. How did you feel, you know, when you realized that this stranger had just moved into your mom's home? Well, you do feel violated. I mean, once I went into the house, when I got access, while they were there, they did give us access, and I went in. And it was very uh, disturbing to look at her things because her personal property was still in the apartment and to look at it and, and then have no control. I mean, I had no control over what was going on in the house. Well, and I know... Actually, to go over the whole building. Right, right. So... We know Florida lawmakers are changing the rules there. They are giving more power to homeowners uh, right now. That, that does not happen in Illinois. Do you want to see the same thing happen or something at least similar here in Illinois? Yeah, I think it should happen. I've talked to one of the local state representatives about introducing legislation to uh, govern the rights of squatters and give the tenants or the landlords more power and authority over their own property. So we're moving forward with trying to uh, introduce legislation to the state of Illinois with the same intent as Florida. And, Arthur, before we let you go, had you found out whether or not this man, this stranger living in your mother's home, uh, was this the first time he, he had done something like this? No, he indicated to the police when the police got there that he was a professional squatter and that he knew his rights. So after talking to some of the neighbors, they also indicated that he had been squatting at another property on the same block. So certainly not his first time. And so many homeowners are going through the exact same situation. Darthula Young, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. Certainly wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.